This is a fingerboard. And I'm a noob. <laughs> so today I'm gonna build a Lego fingerboard park with tons of obstacles so that I can become a better fingerboard. That was cool. I'm gonna start by building some rails that I can grind on. You have to like jump up onto it and then like wee. I don't know how to do that yet, but I'm gonna learn. So to build the rails, we're gonna basically use two hinges and two pillars and then just build those up so that it connects and creates a rail that you can jump onto. So, a few hinges. Connect these to a couple plates. Then we've got some tiles. Connect those just like this. And then we just need to build two pillars and we can make one taller than the other so we can angle this. We'll just make those pillars with a bunch of one by ones. If we just add two of these little clip things to the top of these pillars, we can now connect our thing, which I already forgot the name of, and boom, check it out. That's pretty sick. And we can put this in our skate park and build a couple more. But as you can see, I lost my skateboard already. Hey, look at that. And now we can build a couple more of these in different sizes using the same technique so we can completely populate our fingerboard park. This will be like the beginner ramp because for people like me who can't ollie that up. I gotta jump this. Let's build a few more. Now we got some more rails, let's go set them up. All right, so this is the space we have available for our fingerboard park. As you can see, I just laid out nine Lego base plates. And what we can do is we can put tiles on the top of that. We have a ton of six by six tiles and we can just tile around all our obstacles, but we wanna install them first so we know what we're gonna have. Also, look how sick the studio is coming along. Check it out. So now if we lock these base plates together with a couple of these, we're gonna put this one here. I made this cool curved one we can put here around the edge right there. That one is super smooth. Go this one up here, this one. Cool, we got some grind rails and stuff. Now we need to kind of tile this off so we can, you know, use it. For that, I'm gonna use these six by six tiles that I have in bulk and just hammer a bunch of them on around these areas. But since we still got a bunch of stuff to add, we might need to just remove some later. <laughs> so check it out, I added some tiles around them and now we should be able to actually skate on this. That just locks into place using a couple of these. And it still gives us plenty of room to add other stuff. Plus they're cool because one's like hard, one's intermediate, and then one's like really easy. But we can actually try these as soon as I find my, there we go. Hey, there we go. This is actually pretty fun. Also I had an idea to build a motorized thing, which would like be super dangerous at a real skate park. We're making a fingerboard park, so we're gonna make it cool. So my idea would be to grab a motor like this, small motor a gear, we attach the motor to the battery box, then we attach it to the worm drive, which is going to gear it down and make it a lot slower. Now that should spin the worm gear, and this should spin this, and this will spin that. And then we just put it on its side, just to here, check it out. And get off on the side, that'd actually be super cool. And then this thing, we connect to, ow, my finger. These couple brackets, maybe that to there. So now we can kind of jump up on one end, ride it all the way across, and get off on the other end. This is actually pretty fun if you get past the fact that I'm terrible at it. And now we can install this in our park somewhere. <laughs> like right here towards the edge. That's nice. We need more tiles here before we can do much, but it works. Now that we have our rails installed, we're gonna build a half pipe, which is gonna be pretty cool. All right, so for the half pipe, we need to find something super smooth to go on because if it's all bumpy, that's not gonna work. So my thought, we grab a base plate like this, check this out, and we just put it into a mold like this, and boom, a half pipe. So check it out, guys, I can do some sweet tricks. That was sick, actually. So first, we just gotta basically build something that'll hold this into place, and then we'll also build a quarter pipe, which will be a bit taller. We just gotta build a wall on either side, I think. Basically, we've got to build up two walls on either side and then find a way to pinch it in between and make two little top sections that are flat so you can like stop at the top, go back down. This is gonna be like probably the funnest thing. Funnest, it's a word. Also overlapping all these bricks because for the specific purpose of this thing not coming apart because it's going to want to do that when we have all this tension right here. To make this strong all the way across, I'm gonna add a few Technic bricks to the sides. Also, I need some Technic pieces. That's pretty cool. And then at the top here, we're gonna add these pieces, which are really sick. They're just these little pieces with these little grooves. And then if we shove this in, we'll put the groove piece right here. And on this side, we do the same thing. And now, we can skate it. It's a little small, not gonna lie. I think it needs to be a little bigger. So I'm gonna use both of these for this. Basically extend these sides and make these little pillars a bit taller. Uh -huh. 
Hey, that's actually pretty cool. This thing is, uh, this thing's done. Now I just want to build a quarter pipe real quick using the same method, and we should be good to go. Okay, so here we have our quarter pipe, which hopefully can sit right there. It's a little fragile, but it does work as a quarter pipe, so that's cool. And then we have our half pipe. This can go maybe right here. Maybe we move that to the center or something. This thing goes right here. And then this can go... We're kind of running out of room on our setup, so I'm trying to figure out how we can increase the space. Okay, if we slide this whole thing over, do we have enough room for some half pieces, such as these? over here. So now it's a little bit bigger. And now we have this, which we need to put tiles around and we need to put tiles around that. Where's my board? Here it is. Let's check this out. This is actually really fun. And also there's the quarter pipe. Go up here, ride the rim of that somehow. That's actually really fun. All right, let's install the next obstacle. Okay guys, so check us out. So here's where I put most of my bricks in the background. As you can see, just a little peek. I have some of them in different sizes, different shapes, and different colors. They're all sorted out so that I know where they are. If you guys are missing any parts in different colors or sizes or shapes, you can check out this video sponsor, Crazy Kai's Brickling Store, because they have a huge selection of parts. I think it's over 500,000, and they have them in different colors. So if you want to check out what they have in stock, you can click the link in the description and grow your Lego collection and sort it like this, because sorting in drawers is truly the best way. Now let's get back to it. All right, next up, we're going to build some ramps, and we're going to start by building a bank and a bank I had to look it up is just a ramp that's like a half ramp and then you see so you go up and then you can go down and it's basically like a ramp so my thought is we do it thus we take some of our fancy tiles here and we just assemble like that and then we just need to figure out a way to hinge this just like that and that's really simple you see over here I have these little special pieces these are like these hinges that have a brick connection on the top and the bottom so all we have to do is connect them to the bottom of this Put some bricks on the bottom. And now we have a bank. Is it a big bank? No. Is it a small bank? I don't know. I've never been to a skate park. Just kidding. That lines up with ground and any tiles we want to put here. So if we get our skater board, check it out. We have a bank. So you can basically go up a bank, go back down. You can even do this. You can go. Oh, that's cool. Yo, that's sick. So let's build a few more of those and we can add them to our fingerboard park. Okay, we have an A-frame. Look at that. Wow. And now we got some sick ramps. All right, let's add these to our fingerboarding park. Let's add this right, we'll put it right here, that's cool. We'll take our tiny ramp, we wanna like combine tricks, so maybe we put it on this side. And then our big boy ramp, we will put somewhere like that. Yeah, that's cool. Man, this thing is really coming along. There's just a few more things I wanna add to this, but first I'm gonna tile around these and test them out. So I don't know if this would actually work, but I really want to build a Lego fingerboard that can actually roll around. And that should be pretty simple. I think if we just add a few of these pieces, which are like these really tiny wheels, and then we add a plate on there. And then for the edges that kind of fold up, my idea is to create two ends out of these, which are basically the same shape. And then to connect those to this, we use two more of those hinge pieces we used earlier. We'll connect those to brackets. Kind of just making this up as I go, but I think, oh, that's a good sign. It pops. And then to customize it, we'll just add a tile right there. But hey, look at that. Now we have a Lego fingerboard, and this is how you build it. Pretty simple. Um, not as light as a real thing, but it does work. We can actually use this in our skate park. The last things I want to build before we can test this whole thing out is just some skater stairs. They're just cool. I don't know. I want to build them, okay? <laughs> All right, now tiles on top of that. We can integrate some of these gray tiles, because I like gray. This is where the cool skaters hang out. Well, this piece we can put right here and that is like perfect just fits in right there and that is basically everything now we got to do is finish tiling this thing before we can actually use it all right guys after a couple hours of hard work it's finally done and i think it turned out super cool as you can see we got this thing here which you can turn on it actually works so that's cool so we literally have the whole huge park done i'm gonna go through all the obstacles and test them out you see i got my board here we can grind on the different obstacles like the yellow one we have our quarter pipe over here which turned out pretty good and we also have the giant half pipe which is honestly my favorite and this one is actually so fun check it out so as you can see you start over here at the half pipe and you can go up and then fall down but you can land some pretty sick tricks on this if you're actually good at it let's see here <laughs> there we go all right check that out oh i dropped it 
Well, I'm not very good at it, like I said, but you can do the half pipe, which is pretty fun. Hey, actually, that one worked. Then moving over to this little 90 degree grinding rail, you can sort of flip onto that thing. Oh, nice, nice. And then go up the quarter pipe, which is super fun. I think I land a pretty good trick on this, actually. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> go back down, do the little hang move at the top. Did not move that. We can head around to the other grinding ramps. This one's like a two-parter. And then the other ones, this the red one, is pretty easy, actually. If I can get on here. <laughs> we will get this. Oh, oh, wait. I got this. It's actually pretty fun. I'm just not very good at it, like I said. <laughs> you can totally grind on this one if you can just ollie onto it. The ollie is basically like the starter move. There we go. And then we have this yellow one, which is a step up, and you can grind on that. And drop it with what? I keep dropping this thing. And then you can head around to the bank on the inside and go up that. My favorite trick is just to do the board like this. And spin around and just whoosh. And then you have the spinner thing right here, which you can try to do a dangerous ollie onto that. Right here. Bang. Go up there, grind away across that, grind all the way around, and then you jump off. And then this ramp, you can actually do a really sick ollie onto the stairs. <laughs> like this. Yeah, like that. There we go. That's pretty cool. And you can practice like ollieing up and down the stairs, which is fun. Again, I'm still learning. I'm not super good at it, but that's why I made this thing. It's just fun, you know? And then you can just head back to the half. The Lego one does work as well, by the way. Not as great, but still works. Dang, that was actually a sick ollie. As you can see, you can ollie it, you can use it. It's got wheels. It's basically just like the regular one, except made of Lego. You can go on the half pipe, do a spinny thing, so, sorta. Honestly, this thing's just really fun to play on. I think it turned out really good. It'll be super fun to practice. I'm obviously not that good because I just started out, but this is really fun. Huge thanks for watching, guys. Check out one of these two videos, pop it up on your screen, because I really think you'll enjoy them. And I'll talk to you guys in the next Brick Science. See ya.